again, we are going to make a video today. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <sighs> What's going on, Warriors? It's your boy, Lionheart, and I'm. Um, Oh, I don't know what to say. I want to say first of all, thanks for watching, sharing, liking, subscribing, commenting. You know, you know, got you. I appreciate it, man. Like it means a lot to me. It's what motivates me to keep doing this thing, right? And keep on doing this thing, I will. And we're gonna start with, as I said, He Man and the Master of the Universe Revelations. I didn't want to do this. I really didn't want this, but they made me do it. They made me do it, bro. So, when I was just chilling out, really, I was watching a movie. I think I was watching Red Heat. And then on my other screen, yeah, so I've got three monitors, TV monitors. YouTube was up. Looked over YouTube and I saw he man had popped up. He man. Okay, clicked on it, right? Started to watch it. Oh, I heard the beep of my grill, so I quickly got. Cause I remember I was cooking something, so I said, "Let me pause this. Let me quickly go um, finish my food. Then I'll come watch this." Yeah, and I looked at the video. The video had like about, I think it was like fourteen thousand views, something like that. Went to go make my food, got my food, put them, finished, put my food down there, put my drink there, refresh the page, HD, full screen, let's go. When I was about to click full screen, the video had jumped from, I think I was going like about maybe eight, nine minutes, stuff like that. When I had clicked and looked at it after refreshing the video had jumped up to like 3.4 million views bro it was about 12,000 when i looked at it less than 10 minutes ago and i was on 3.4 million bro okay wow click it watch it had some old bonnie tyler 80s music i need a hero you had he-man you saw bloody Evil Lin and Skeletor and He-Man and it looked like modern fights like Skeletor was doing all types of like green um, projectile attacks um, giant fists um, from Portal uh, giant fists were coming out of alternate dimensions and trying to attack He-Man and He-Man was just like overwhelming it with his power and you saw all types of crazy stuff going on with the music you saw Man at Times and then you saw a new version of Tila and all these kind of characters and Cringer and Orko and you're like, this is what I remember. This is what I remember. They're using like the music of the 80s. I'm here for it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cutting down the days until it comes on Netflix. Comes on Netflix. You know what? Yeah. I'm not watching that at night time. I'm watching that in the morning. Come like when I was in school days. Yeah. Oh, no, it was a weekend. Also, it came on the weekends. Yeah, and you wake up early in the morning, that's where I am. When I'm making my breakfast, and I'm eating my breakfast, I'm putting it on my TV, right? I'm putting my duvet on, right? No one's going to interrupt me. Switch my phone off. Food, duvet, drink, let's go. Started to watch it, yeah? Within the first five minutes, He-Man gets killed. What? Okay, he, so he's not really dead? This must be a joke, right? And even before that, Skeletor managed to break into Castle Greyskull with the absolute... Oh, I don't even know what to say. Like, it was easy. You're thinking, so if it was that hard to get to, um, into, like, um... Castle Grey Skull. Why hasn't he done it from ages ago? Like that was free. How easy he managed to get in there, get into the deepest, darkest depths 
of um, that place, Skull Mountain, Castle Grey Skull, and just tear it apart. And he, man, but is he just, he got handled, right? Even if he man managed to land some good hits on Skeletor, Skeletor ultimately won, right? Oh. Then he dies. Then the show, real agenda comes up. This is not about Adam. It's not about He-Man. It's about Tila. Which I'll be honest with you, I never saw it coming, right? And I did hear rumblings of people saying that it was, maybe it was going to be like the Tila show. Yeah. But I, to, I'll be very honest with you. I, um ignored that statement right because that's just people being to me that was people being paranoid talking shit it's he-man they've shown like there's no way it's going to be about tila come on man you know what i mean if they're ever going to do something about tila they would do a tv show called the adventures of tila right because it can carry itself right like remember back in the day they had she-ra she was godlike well, maybe i'm thinking seeing it through rose tinted glasses but from what i can recall she was amazing Right, so you're not going to use the name of He Man and Master of the Universe and make it a show about Tila. All right, and then the I think it was like the producer or I don't know, Kevin Smith. Yeah, he put out a tweet saying this show has He Man at the forefront of the show. Yeah. Yes, Tila was in the original show, which of course she was. We all remember Tila, yeah. And she was a main character. She was in the forefront of the episodes, yeah. The show was called He-Man, and it's about Adam and He-Man. Adam against Skeletor, Snake Mountain, um, you know, Castle Grayskull. Cool, let's go, man. So when he confirmed that, I thought nothing of it. And then when I saw He-Man die... I realised what I was watching. When I saw the swords get separated, I was like, okay, it's going to be a show about Tila um, travelling to go get both swords, unite them together and save um, save their world. Yeah. I am so confused. You put out the trailer, yeah? You see that trailer. It's got over three point for million views within an hour yeah read the room yeah you've got a lot of 80s babies 90s babies that are grown adults now and they see something like this and it blows their mind they want more because the people that were kids watching it are now grown adults with their own kids and they would like their kids to feel what they felt when they were young watching He-Man. No such thing in this show. The utter disrespect that they show to He-Man. He's nothing. He is nothing. He-Man does come back though in the very last episode. And then he dies in like five minutes towards the ending of the episode. I do not understand, bro. But I don't think he's dead because when it's, when Skeletor, Skeletor stabbed He-Man, yeah? When He-Man was summoning um, the power of Grayskull, yeah? I'm puzzled, bro. The lack of Werefall is just mind-boggling. Like, Evil Lin was standing behind He-Man while he was summoning the powers, yeah? Why doesn't matter whether um, Evil Lynn has had a reformed character or not. She is your enemy. From as far as you're concerned, she's your enemy. She always has been and always will be. Yeah. You turn your back on your enemy when you are most vulnerable. Summoning your power. Transitioning from Adam to He-Man. And you turn your back. On your enemy. You deserve to get stabbed in the back bro. Right. 
I don't know, and then uh, Skeletor uh, becomes like the, I don't know, like a super powered version of Skeletor. And I don't know, man. I don't know. How can, it, and it ends there. It's only five episodes and it ends with Skeletor stabbing uh, He-Man, Adam, as before he could transform to He-Man and getting the power of the magic sword and then saying he and the skeleton goes i have the power and it becomes like super powered version i don't know man i'm so confused bro by this everything like the whole teela thing the whole adventure whenever you saw teela with adam it was just he was nothing he was a punk. And even Man at Arms. When Man at Arms had his own scene, he was actually a Don. But whenever he was in a scene with Tila, it's like he would turn into a, like a sniffling, crying bitch. Like, I'm, I'm so confused by the show. I couldn't understand what I was watching. I was thinking, why? Is this happening? Why have you modernized Tila to such a degree? But you and you've kind of modernized Man at Arms, but you have left Adam, aka He Man, in the 1980s. I don't understand. And you give her mad character development, like proper good character development, even Evil Lynn. Gets mad character development. Orko gets godlike character development. The only character that it was kind of clear they didn't they, they didn't give two fucks about was He Man. That's who was supposed to be the star of the show. What is going on, bro? What is happening, man? You know what? Yeah, I can't even rate that show. I can't even give it a. Um, 1 to 10 Right If I had to give it a grade I would give it an F Yeah I'm not going to say It's like Oh was it 1 out of 10 2 out of 10 3 out of 10 4 out of 10 5 out of 10 6 out of 10 7 out of 10 8 out of 10 9 out of 10 10 out of 10 I'm not doing it It gets an F from me Because It's deception Go look at that He-Man trailer again And tell me If you can tell that the show was going to be what it actually is. That trailer is just deception, bro. It's the definition of a Trojan horse. Of deceit. Come on, man. Come on, bro. So, yeah, man. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Talk about the uh, He-Man Master Universe that came on Netflix. You know, 2021. Not good. Not good. And there's a season two coming. Bro. And it's already been done as well. Like you were in 2021. And this is the best you could do. Bro. And they're not going to do. They're not going to do good by He-Man. Because now it's going to be even more about. Um, Taylor than it was originally. Because what is Adam without the magical sword. They have emphasised into oblivion he is absolutely pathetic without it and now if even if he does die he ain't going to heaven because he was when he died he went to heaven and they and then he was able to go back to earth but they did say to him if you go back to the world of the living you can't come back to heaven you are essentially given up your spot in heaven only heroes get to go to heaven right but once you've left heaven and you go into the normal world, can't come back. He gives up his, he sacrifices his spot in heaven to go save his friends. Which, let's be honest with you, is very apparent that they don't need him. Because he was blundering his way um, through the first four minutes of the five minutes of the show, which ended up in him getting killed. And then he blundered again. The second he entered the human realm, he died. Literally within three minutes of entering the human realm, he died. God 
damn, they made this character look real stupid, bro. Oh, man. It's quite obvious they don't like you, man. So why do a show about a character that has got such nostalgic um, elements of him? There wasn't even, there was not even the music. Where was it? He man, I have the power. Where was it? I don't know, man. I mean, I don't want to. Say, I can't say Kevin Smith doesn't know what He Man is because if you go through the trouble of actually picking that as your project, you must know. So why that? Why blow he man up like that at the expense uh, so that to make Tina look good? Just do a TV show of Tina. She was good enough. She could do. She was a good enough character that she could carry her own show. But you make he man trick us all into thinking it's going to be about he man a skeletor, and it's not. F. If you've watched it, please let me know what you guys think about it. And, um, yeah, I just want um, to say thanks for watching, man. I am going to be doing more videos, yeah. I've got a barn burner coming up, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of um, a deep dive into this whole thing with, like, Activision Blizzard, yeah. Where well, I'm going to be talking about it. I didn't really want to talk about it, to be honest with you. But um, I love video games, man. Right, and... I can't just sit back and allow this bullshit to take place without me saying something about it. So, say something I will. Warriors, once again, thank you. Take care. Stay blessed. And please, I appreciate your support. Laters.